Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, it's back with quick hits. Um, we're going to get into the Haney and Loma. And I, I want to get into this because, um, you know, a lot of people talking corruption and, and you know, I, I get it. I do. Um, but if you were going to fix the fight, if you're going to have corruption, it would have made more business sense. For Loma to win, and I'll, I'll explain why. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, so please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene as well. All right. Um, so I want to touch on a couple of things. We're gonna we're gonna get into why it would make more sense if you were gonna fix it. If you were gonna err on the side of one guy over the other, it would have made sense for Loma to win this fight. And 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 the, and the reason is quite simple. And, and I said this after um, Stephen Fulton got I thought a bogus decision over Brandon Figueroa. Um, and I'm I'm, I'm gonna use the same logic here. Um. Brandon Figueroa, win, lose, or draw, was leaving that division. Uh, they had, PBC had a ton of uh, 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 high-level fighters, world championship fighters, at 122. If Figueroa unifies two of the belts, becomes vacant, and he leaves. He leaves, and the, and the belts become vacant, and, and now those belts can go anywhere. PBC doesn't have it cornered anymore, uh, whereas Fulton was likely going to stay at 122, and now he's got a mega fight with Inouye. If Figueroa would have won, he wouldn't have got that fight because he was leaving. He couldn't make the weight anymore. He let it be known that he was done at 122. Now, Haney hasn't made such an announcement. Haney is not staying at 135 any longer. I, I can't see it. He is so big for that weight class. I, I, I would have to imagine. I remember almost four years ago, I'm sitting in, 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 in the press conference after the uh, Hooker-Ramirez fight, and, and both Eddie Hearn and... and and uh, Bob Aram looking at him like he's a welterweight. He's standing next to Regis Progre. He's got 10 pounds on Regis. He's fighting at a small weight. He can't I, – mean, I, I get he makes the weight class, right? And that was when he was 21. Now he's 25. He fills out. He gets his man strength. He's got to move up. Like, I, I don't know how he's – yes, he's making the weight. I'm not accusing him of cheating or anything. He's making the weight. But he can't stay there much longer. He's got to go to 140. Physically, he's got to go to 140. So now he's going to vacate every last belt. When he does, he's going to vacate every single belt when he does. Who's that good for? That ain't good for nobody. So it would have made sense for top rank to keep that belt on their side of the street, which means give it to Loma, who's going to stay in the weight class. He's going to, you know, if he has every belt, he's going to stay there. He's going to fight Shakur Stevenson. He's going to fight whoever else they might throw at him. But he's going to stay on that side of the street, and then they can keep the belts, all four of them. All four. I mean, that's why it's such a big deal. That's why it would make no sense for a top rank or for anyone, anyone involved, ESPN, no one, to fix this fight in favor of Haney because he ain't staying in this weight class no more. He's gone. He's done. And I know Paulie went on and said, you know, there were corruption, and it's because Loma was white, which, I, I mean – I'm not even going to respond to that. Um, it, it's such a beta thing to blame your race on things. Look, I had Loma winning 115-113. Uh, that being said, when it went to the cards, I said, I just hope the cards are 115-113 either way or 114-114. I hope it's in that range. Don't give me no ridiculous 117-111 scorecards. And we didn't, right? So the cards were within reason. The only issue. It, it, it is Moretti's card, and I've been on a record, and I've been said Moretti's the worst judge there is. The worst. 
Everyone, Adelaide Burr, this and that. No, they have one or two uh, egregious scorecards. Dave Moretti consistently, consistently hands in absolute trash cards. He's a top-ranked pocket, right? And I've been on this all the way back to the Pacquiao Marquez 3 when he scored at 116-112 for Pacquiao, which was, I mean, an a, a, a ins- insane scorecard. Yeah, Pacquiao won eight rounds in that fight. I, I, he also had uh, Jesse Vargas 114-113 with Pacquiao. Uh, he had Pacquiao 114-113. That means Jesse Vargas won six rounds in that fight. If I, he probably won. I mean, his scorecard, I'm not, and I'm not saying it's necessarily corruption. I'm just saying it is horrendous card after horrendous card from Moretti. He is the worst judge in the sport, and I've been to that. He's been the worst judge. This is nothing new. He's atrocious. Every scorecard he hands in is bad. That's an exaggeration, of course. Um, so what I think we got here, the 10th round that Moretti scored for Haney, I agree. Um, that's an issue. Okay? It's an issue. I don't know. Um, Teddy Atlas wants the Nevada State Athletic, you know, wants to have the Nevada State Athletic uh, Commission investigate him and have him have to explain the scorecard. I'm, I'm with all that. It's fine. I have no problem with that. You should be able to explain your scorecard. It's not a problem. Again, these he's a public employer, employee. He works for the state, okay? Um, make him explain the scorecard. And if he can't, he's got to go. I mean, we have these judges that are 1,000 years old. I don't know why we keep using them. We can get different judges. We, 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 we don't need to keep doing this, right? We can get better judges. We can get younger judges. Uh, this is egregious. Uh, that, that round was so one-sided, and he scored it the wrong way. I mean, I don't even know what to say about that. That's how bad that is. Um, so I, I'm in favor of, of doing something to Moretti, but first off, I can't say there was corruption because it, it was fixed for the wrong guy. If it was, it makes no sense to give the fight to Haney, who's leaving the division. Also, it wasn't that bad. The decision wasn't that egregious. It wasn't. 115-113 Haney times two was fine. Scorecards are fine. It's not how I had it. <clears throat> but there's so many close rounds, especially early on. Where I had Haney winning early. If you flip those rounds, you give him to Loma. I mean, I had Loma. I'm sorry. I had Loma winning early. Um, if you flip those rounds, you give it to Haney. Now you get 115-113 Haney. It's no big deal. There were two rounds you could flip. Wasn't that crazy of a decision? I, I knew we were going to – yeah, I thought we were going to get split decisions because they were so close. But you know, they, they all came in. And if Moretti flips that one round, 115, 113 times three. There's no corruption at all. There's nothing to even look at. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I don't see any corruption here. And um, if, 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 if it was, you, you did it for the wrong guy, which made no sense. It doesn't make any business sense to do what they did. I mean, it would have made business sense to keep all of the belts, all of the belts, over on uh, uh, over with Loma, who's going to stay in the division. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, also, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, on YouTube, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. So uh, please uh, subscribe to that channel as well. It is May 22nd, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.